All right, here's a quick video review of a comparison between a Prion Revo and a Prion 1. I'll be using the Prion 1 with the exact same. Uh, it's an Anytime AAA uh, 750 milliamp battery, so they're identical batteries, okay, nickel metal hydrate. Uh, and then I'll be using this one with a 10440, just because that's what I carried it with, and it's capable of using it without problems. All right, so you can ignore the manufacturer's uh, lumen rating because they're very off. For instance, this one is supposed to be a 1.5 lumen, the Revo, and the Prion 1 is supposed to be 1.8. Now, I've got the XPGS2 emitter, so it should be 28% brighter than the rating, which, if you do the math, would be 1.9. So 1.8, 1.9. And clearly, the Prion 1 is a lot brighter. I'd say this is probably around 3 lumens. And it goes like that with, with everything. For medium, this is supposed to be 8.5. This is supposed to be 19.5 with the 28% difference, 24 lumens. Clearly, Prion 1 on my left is brighter again. Sorry, it's a little bit hard. My camera has a very narrow view. This is supposed to be 8.5, same manufacturer, 24. So they're they're pretty far off. So other than that, I'll show you against the wall here. Just because a, a few weeks ago I was in the market for a new flashlight and I didn't know if I should get the Revo since I had a pre-on one. This is just to show you the difference. These are both of them on low modes. This is quite a bit lower. This is the S2, so just remember your XPE will be even lower, but it'll have a different lux. It'll be a tighter hotspot. This is more uh, spilled, but I like the low rating. It's perfect for reading, and the run times are fantastic on this light. This one was overrated. It said 23 hours on, uh, on nickel metal hydrate or whatever, lithium. Uh, I only got around six, seven hours on nickel metal hydrate. I've never tried it with an L92. So it was a little bit overrated. This from the reviews I've seen, and people did do the timing, it's very good, very close to the manufacturer's uh, ratings. I have a little bit of problem speaking today. So on medium mode, very close, but the Prion 1 is still brighter. But this will last you about six hours, seven hours, whatever. This one says six hours, but I usually get around two and a half hours out of it. Okay. Both on high. Identical. There's no difference. The color difference might be the only thing that makes it look a little off, but uh, they're, they're identical. Now, this will step down 20% after three minutes, but it's not very noticeable. Okay, so go through them real quick for you. And that's one problem with the Prion 1, is mode skipping. There we go. So both on low. Both on medium. And both on high. Now I'm going to show you the, uh, actually, you know what, I'll leave them both on high there and show you what the 10440 looks like on the Prion 1 because the camera will uh, adjust to the light output. So this way you can see exactly the difference. So Prion Revo here, and this is the Prion 1. And I'll do it as quickly as I can with a 10440 cell. And then there's low, medium, high. Oh, see, that's the mode skipping. There we go. It's on high mode. Quite a bit of difference. And just to compare them, the low with the 10440, so we're ignoring the Prion Revo here. I'm just leaving it on for comparison. 
So the low on a prion one with a 10440 cell, it's a lithium ion. Don't use it if you don't understand them. Just for more experience, flashlight users. Sounds so stupid. <laughs> but uh, so that's the same low. Medium. Medium is brighter with a 10440. It's around 40 lumens. Maybe 50, a little bit more than double. On high is around 250 lumens. That's amazing. That's more of a wow factor since it'll only last about 10 minutes. Uh, it, it's just amazing for the size of the light. I think it's a, a 40 lumens you get out of a 4D mag light. So for those of you who are non-flashaholics, this 250 lumens is quite substantial. So that's what I've been carrying with me for a long time. Uh, if you're in the same boat as me where you didn't know whether or not you should switch, I did. I did get the Revo. Uh, aesthetics wise, it looks a lot nicer. It is smaller. If I stand them up there, it's smaller in diameter and height and you can see this is actually just for the keychain here so it's even it's even lower it's pretty amazing what they do in such short time so this is the stainless steel version I got it because it'll hold up to abuse from the keys more than aluminum will uh, if I could choose I, I did actually buy the XPE R2 emitter for the Revo, but they were sold out, so he sent me the S2. I would still go for the, the XPE, just for a little bit more throw. But yeah, mode skipping got so bad on the Prion 1, that's why I switched. Contacts were clean, it just just keep mode skipping. It could be that I'm using a 10-440, but uh, it just got really bad. Also, I found uh, some nice things about the Revo compared to the Prion 1. The heads, when you go to turn them, this has no, uh, no kernel, oh god I can't say it, knurling. So it is hard to switch with one hand, especially when your hands are wet. Very difficult to switch, or turn. This one here has little notches, I don't know how well my camera will focus up close, but it has those little notches in it. Gives you quite a bit of grip. Now the head is smaller. I find it a bit awkward to turn, but uh, I think it'll just take some getting used to. So this will be my new everyday carry, and we'll see how it stands up. I did make the switch. Uh, you put lithiums in it, you don't have to worry about cold temperatures. One of the reasons I went for a 10440 cell is that the nickel metal hydrates, I mean, we're in Canada, it gets negative like 20 Celsius, you know, you, you're just nickel metal hydrates won't work. 10440s will, so will lithium L92 Energizer. Yeah, very nice light. I don't have much use with it, so I can't give you that much wording, but uh, so far I'm, I'm impressed, I'm happy with it. The S2 emitter is very green, has a very green tint to the light, where this is more cool white with like a purplish blue white. but it's easier on the eye, I find. Alright, I hope that helps anyone making the uh, choice.